Welcome back guys, happy new year to you guys. This video is not gonna be a movie review, but it is gonna be about how I get movie passes or pre-screenings or studio passes, whatever they call it. I'll also talk about my experience with them, what not to do, you know, what variables take into account. Now I'll put the link to these in the description itself. I probably will miss them. So if you guys have some suggestions for pre-screening sites, uh, go ahead and put them down in the comments. That way other people can check them out. Now, before you start going to these sites, I just wanna clarify that obviously you're not gonna get a pre-screening right away or anything like that for example some of them have to do with like the city that you live in you know how many theaters are around you for example I have like around five theaters like in the 15 mile radius where, from where I live so that's kind of plays to my advantage and also the companies that host these events are the ones that are responsible it's really up to them and also you know what city you live in I live in Nashville Tennessee and I'm fortunate enough to have like a lot of like studios like giving out free passes here and then every once in a while now, like I said, it's very simple. I'm not gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it because it's, because it's pretty straightforward. The main two that I've used in the past or still use now is GoFobo and Advanced Screenings. You can just go to one of these sites, enter your zip code. And if you live in the middle of nowhere, I would suggest entering a zip code where there's a popular city <laughs> rather than the middle of nowhere because you most likely won't get anything from there. And if there's nothing, which in most cases, or if you go to Advanced Screenings, they'll just show you contests that you can enter. Uh, don't freak out or anything like that you can still sign up for their emails which is the best thing to do and that's the best way to get them honest by signing up to each of these websites and I know it sounds like a hassle and it sounds like it could be annoying because you might get spammed and whatnot but from my experience I haven't gotten much spam at all if anything it's helped me a lot with like screenings I've gotten to see so many movies in the past a lot of my movie reviews for big movies have come from pre-screenings so that's always a plus and aside from GoFobo and AdvancedScreenings.com I've branched out to like Sony screenings Warner Brother tickets. Uh, there's another one, TMC IO, I believe. But if you're lucky enough to get a pre-screening, guys, go ahead and grab them. Also, like I said, you know, if you, there's no pre-screenings or any studio passes available to you, go ahead and sign up for contests because you can actually win them. And it's fairly simple. All you have to do is like enter your information, or if you already have an account with Advanced Screenings or GoFobo, literally you just have to click the Enter Contest or Enter Sweepstakes, I believe, and that's it. I've won, I think, three by now, and the last two I remember was Atomic Blonde and. The Fast and Furious movie. Now, the main thing about this is, guys, is that if you do get an email saying, hey, uh, claim your passes or, you know, studio passes available, redeem your code, emails like that, best thing I can suggest to you is that go ahead and try to get to that link as quick as possible, especially because if the movie is a big blockbuster, a lot of people are going to want to see that movie. For example, I was on a phone call from my job to the gym, and during that time, I think it was like 15 minutes from where I, I've gotten an email saying that there was a pre screening for it, and it was totally free, you know, I had just to redeem the code go to the link and print my passes but since I was on the phone call I got no data connection so by the time I got to the gym I got the email 15 minutes have passed I clicked on the link and then it said event full which sucked but it's just an example of you know how fast these tickets can go by remember that once you get the tickets it does not guarantee you a seat or guarantee you to have a seat reserved in the theater so you have to keep that in mind because the thing that these companies do with events like this is that they overbook the actual room like there is so many tickets going off to like so many people that have registered if you do get a movie screening whether it's by contest or you know the studio pass i would suggest getting to the theater around an hour and a half early because because from my experience that's when the lines actually start getting bigger sometimes people camp there for like two hours which is insane and usually the screenings don't start till like seven o'clock so for me once i get off work which is like 4 30 i have around you know an hour to get ready and go to the actual theater and wait in line the only people that have reserved seating in the actual theater is is members of the press which unfortunately I'm not and I don't have that privilege of actually going to the theater like last minute and just you know picking any reserved seat to watch the movie so keep that in mind guys and I'm saying this because the very first screening that I went to was the accountant and I went there not knowing anything at all I went there 30 minutes before the movie started I had to wait in line for like 20 minutes and luckily there were some seats available but they were at the very front I mean first row and it sucked because I almost broke my neck watching this movie because I literally had to watch the movie like this the entire time so don't be that guy be there super early also on a side note once you do get in the theater and you get your seats if you're with someone don't both of you leave your seats and go to the restroom or the concession stand because like the print says on the tickets your seats are not guaranteed there have been a couple of times in the actual screening in the theater where a couple almost got into a fight they actually got into like a big argument with because these four people left their seats and a couple decided to take two seats out of the four and there was like this big fuzz and argument that it almost led to a 
a fight. So just saying, if there's two of you, one of you guys stay while the other one has to go pee or get popcorn or whatever. So just, just a heads up. Make sure to follow all of them on their like social platforms. I know I do it. And also I've been helping other like YouTubers or like other friends get pre-screen tickets because I know they love watching movies, especially if they're for free. So make sure to follow them like on Twitter or, you know, Facebook and stuff like that. And obviously also follow me on my Twitter at FMO1126. So I hope this video was somewhat helpful, guys. Also share this with some of your friends if you think it's going to be helpful, especially if they're like big movie buffs and they like free stuff or you just want to take somebody on a date. The more you share with friends, the more likely they'll take you with them. So hey, you might get lucky if your friend wins a contest and you don't have a screening. So guys, if you guys like this video, like I said, share it. Subscribe if you already haven't. And until next time, stay tuned.